Okay, we have to take another integral from the MIT integration be 2022, regular season number 10. We have the integral of four to the x times three to the two x dx. Okay, it's a little tricky having this in the exponent. And what I wanna do, what I usually wanna do in this case is I don't really like having constants in the base. I want it to be e, but I think before we do that, what I wanna notice is for this four to the x, I can write this as 2x times 2x. And I'm doing that because then writing it like this, now we've got 2 to the x in three places. I'm thinking a u substitution could help clean this up a little bit. So if I set u equal to 2x, before I take a derivative, let's write it the other way. When we have a constant like 2, I can always write this as e ln 2. So for u, another way I can write this is going to be e ln 2 times x. Then let's get our derivative on this. So we're gonna have our du is gonna be e ln two x. Then chain rule, we're just gonna have natural log two pop out. We could also just use a formula on this. So the other way to write du would just be two to the x ln two dx. So then before I substitute, let me actually just rewrite this to kind of set it up. So I'll split this stuff up. I'll split this up. So we'll have it as two x three, two x, and then we'll bring one two x to the end here and have it as two x dx. But in order to set up the du, let me actually multiply in this ln two right here. So we'll multiply that in right here. But so I'm not changing it, let's divide it off in front. So now we'll just go ahead and substitute. So we'll have our one ln two in front. This here we're saying it's just gonna be u. This is gonna become three to the u and everything else is just du. But now on this three, let's use the same trick and we'll just rewrite that, get the base to be E because we like dealing with E better than we do, like dealing with three. So this is gonna become E ln three times U du. But then for this thing, we can just use integration by parts to clean this up. We just have the constant right here. So when I do this, let's see what's gonna happen. We'll differentiate, we'll have two columns. We'll use the DI method, one column to differentiate, one column to integrate. Let's differentiate u because it's going to differentiate to zero and we'll integrate this thing. Let's go ahead and differentiate. So first, derivative u is one. Do it again, we get a zero. Here, integral on this, we're going to get e ln three times u and then ln three is going to pop out. Do it again, same kind of thing, e ln three u and then now multiplying times this, again, this is going to be ln three squared. So this zero is gonna zero out the integral on the last line. We don't have to worry about that. We just can go for our solution here on the diagonals. When I do this, we have some things in common. We've got the ln two in front. We also have ln, at least one, we have one copy of ln three in each of these anyway. So let's do ln two times ln three. And then we have this in common, but I'm gonna put this back the way we had it before like this and write this as three to the u. So we'll have three to the u out here. And then what's left, we have a u minus one over ln three. And so now all we need to do is just back substitute in order to finish it off. So for my final solution this, we're just gonna have three to the two x over ln two times ln three times two to the x minus one over ln three, add a plus c and that's it. Okay, there you go. Good one today from MIT 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.